In this tutorial, we're not gonna need any gimbals or sliders. This is the art of filming handheld. How's it going y'all? It is awesome to see you tune back in. So, handheld filmmaking. Mostly used in big budget Hollywood films, in action or fight scenes to provide the sense of reality. Well, I'm a solo commercial filmmaker. And the reason why I choose to go handheld differs from these big budget Hollywood films. So without further ado, let's jump right into my list of tips, tricks, hows, whys, and ways I use handheld filmmaking in my work through the behind the scenes of my previous pizza commercial shoot I filmed not too long ago. So why should you go handheld? For me, it's flexibility and speed. Though I do own a gimbal and a slider, I still shoot the majority of my work handheld. If it's not a product video I'm filming, I'm on a location somewhere, I usually tend to go handheld. It just saves me a lot of time and gives me flexibility with the shots that I'm after. The beauty in handheld filmmaking is that you're not limited to any specific shots like we would be on sticks or on a slider. Setup time goes pretty fast when you don't need to figure out the different slider angles or how do I balance this gimbal now. The shoot we did for my friend's restaurant was done within an hour. Just really rehearsed the shots that I wanted and went after them. When going full on handheld, we can point the camera any way we want. Pretty much the sky is the limit. Like we did here with these opening shots of the pizza commercial. First, we went to the hands, <sighs> flower everywhere, ready for the action. Move to the table, toss that ball of dough up in the air and phew, now we got a nice pizza pie, floating, flying, whatever, hovering up in the air. In a unique, interesting way, it took us like five seconds in the film to show what we're doing here. I wanted to be precise how the shots would play together seamlessly from one shot to the next. I wanted the viewer to feel like they're there, with the pizza maker really making that dough, feeling the energy and speed as the pie comes together. I feel like trying to pull off similar opening sequence like we did here with a gimbal would just take forever. Going at it handheld offered me a lot of flexibility to create captivating camera movements and I could be more specific with my shots. Create movements that can really help me to paint a mood and tone I was after. Gear-wise, the wider shots you can pull off, the better. I used 15-35mm zoom lens to shoot this one. When you're filming handheld, the wider your shots are, less shaky footage you'll get. There was only one shot in this entire commercial that I shot with 100mm macro. And though the movement, the camera movement I did with that lens wasn't big by all means, the footage still turned out shaky. Thankfully, that was an easy fix imposed with warp stabilizer. Also, if you're looking to pull off anything similar to what I did here, you need a camera that can shoot slow-mo, 60 FPS or more. Because I filmed all my shots in 120 FPS, I managed to slow them down in the edit so that the shakiness of the shots might have had were now almost entirely invisible, especially after speed ramping and when played together with other fast forward moving energetic shots. I'd say my biggest tip on going full on handheld is to focus on how you operate your camera. More specifically, how you move with your camera. When getting those energetic forward moving shots, before doing anything, I study the action in front of me. What's happening? Why is he doing what he's doing? Then figure out how I want to capture that with my camera. What would look cool? What parts would I want to show? What I want to highlight and emphasize? And then share that together with the talent because it is us two, me and the talent, who need to move like a well-oiled machine. How to toss the dough in the air, when to toss it, how to catch the dough, and when to fold it open on a table, and so on. Usually when I go full on handheld, it is just the lower body and my legs that are moving. Hands, 
Not so much. Unless I do quick whips and whaps and you know. This usually gives me the smoothest motion when going full on handheld. Lastly, I want to leave you with a tip how you can nail the focus every single time when you choose to go handheld. This is what I get asked the most. Normally, like with this shoot, I film all my shots with manual focus. Yes, you heard right, manual focus. Using autofocus might be tricky since the camera just can't keep up with some of the fast moves you're doing. Plus, you got both of your hands moving with the camera, so selecting the focus point on the monitor wouldn't be easy. By using manual focus, you can get it right. I set and lock the focus point to the end frame of my shot. Then just practice the shot, film it, and keep at it till I get it right. And there you have it. This was the art of filming handheld. More you do it, better you'll get. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think. Are you more of a handheld shooter or a gimbal shooter? What is it that you prefer? Also, if you shot any cool spec ads, b-rolls, any cool handheld sequences, DM or tag me to the post on Instagram. I will do a reaction video in the near future where I'll be going through all your handheld creations. Thanks for watching. And as always, I'll be seeing you guys again on the next one.